Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zephonix channel. Today we're building the high grade Universal Century from the Gundam uh, Universal Century. The MSV uh, is the Delta Gundam, so it's basically a Hyakushiki with transforming abilities. Yeah, and let's look at the size. So, we got a story. So, it said it's uh, from a PS3 game uh, series which developed into a story. And uh, at the side here, we got some uh, MS mode, uh, MA mode description, and we got the uh, swap, uh, pass swapping unit here. And uh, really special this time. They didn't give, uh, they didn't give much uh, action introducing like the others. And look at this, so so gold, shiny. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a instruction book at the bottom. Oh, and uh, now let's take a quick look. So at the front, very shiny. At the back, we got some uh, introduction. I mean, introduced. And uh, now is actually the introduction. Um, so now we got some transforming process as well. And then we got some, you know, some instruction guide here. And. You know, pretty much that's like it. Okay, you know, I'm um, time to open up the runner. So now I open up all the runners, and I could be need to be really careful because you know, if I if you watch some of my reviews before, I did mention that um, metallic finish or chrome finish is actually very easy to get your fingerprints on it. It's a fingerprint collector, and you know, when I building it, I might need to get a pair of gloves or something because. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. And you know, let's look at the C1 run at first. I believe this is a shield. Oh my god, it's so shiny. It's kind of it's kind of hurting my eyes. Um, some shoulder part, some legs part, some uh, inner joint as well. And uh, we got the wings, the waist, and the oh, the armor off the knees. Let's put that away. I'm not putting it in the box because I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch it. We got a C2 runner, exactly the same like the C1 runner. Um, Nothing much to explain, just pretty much the swing. I'm oh, gonna be really careful now. <laughs> gotta be really careful. Uh, we got a large shield, some wings part, uh, the head parts, the waist part, and we got some shoulders, some joint as well. Now, back to something that's not that shiny. So we got an A1 and an A2 runner. Uh, I believe this is the inner frame, the guns, the pass swapping unit, the torso, uh, hands, thrusters, um, inner, uh, the inner frame as well. Now we got a E runner, which is from the Delta Plus. It's from the Delta Plus. Um, is some in a frame and another part swapping unit, but this one I don't think is going to be used because this is from the Delta, Delta Plus uh, runners. And a deep runner, some feet, some torso parts, some uh, some pipe, some mobile suit pipe. Now, this one, uh, don't have a name, so let's just call it unknown. So, all the hands options. It seems like we have a lot of hand options. You can choose. Then we, as usual, polycaps. A beam saber event part and stickers. Well, that's pretty much it. And you know, I'm gonna get a pair of gloves first because I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch the runner. So, you know, I was here to review.
after a long way now, I have finally completed the Delta Gundam and I honestly need to say though, after the review, I might need to like get a towel and wipe it all over before I shove it into the, before I put it back to the shelf because you know, when I was building it, yes, uh, when I cut out the parts, I use the gloves because I just don't want, but when I try to snap the parts with the gloves, it's very hard to do it, so I just do it freehand and now it causes a lot of greasy feelings on the gun plate. So because it's because it's, it's electro plated, so that's why I need some time. So as I just said, it's a fingerprint collector. Uh, I recommend you whenever you you know mess around with it after you've done it, you need to wipe it out. But uh, honestly, though, I really need to say though, this is very good finish. I honestly think the Hyakushiki Revive version should have used the electro plated, <laughs> but Ben I didn't. But uh, anyway, this is Delta, but uh, Delta Gundam this time, uh, Ben and I did a very good job on uh, hiding all the seam marks. So you won't, you're not going to see any uh, color being, you know, rip off, and then you don't have, you don't have any marks that scratch the uh, electroplated uh, paint. But this time, do have a problem because they're using the hidden marks, which makes the seam lines on the mobile suit is very easy to see it. Uh, so you know, if you look at the head carefully, at the side here, uh, is actually have a very clear seam line. Even though I tried to sand it down, but it still couldn't fit well. But you know, it's very good. And by the way, the suit could transform but uses uh, power swapping but you know I'm just gonna start with the articulation first and then I will get to the uh, transformation part so first let's start with the head so uh, head move up down uh, 360 not really possible because it's they got a because the neck here actually have a separate armor piece here actually blocking the movement so if you want to really move 360 I guess you have to move the head to slight to gain a little more movement but overall the head couldn't really move too much probably uh, let's just say it's 30 degrees yeah and also uh, they did give you two options on the eyes you can either put in a red sticker which is the camera version or you can put in a black sticker which is the uh, what was it uh, when the mobile suit didn't activate. Uh, I think it's a pretty good thing, but I honestly won't put a black sticker on it because then you can't see the eyes. So now let's introduce the arm. So this time the shoulder uh, piece is actually an individual piece, so you can move slightly move the uh, shoulder and also the shoulder can pop out as well uh, that function is for a uh, transformation part later and also uh, arms could bend up uh, about 120 and it also can move around as well but you have to be careful it can move 360 but you have to be careful you might accidentally you know kind of um, scratch the paint because it's very hard to twist around so Please don't, you know, use too much force to try to turn it around because you might scratch the paint. The hand down here is a uh, movable as well. Uh, so the transformation later we will have to rip the whole armor apart and then put it back together on the transformation. Now let's look at the lower body part here. So the, the uh, so you can turn around 360 on the waist. Pretty good movement though. And um, side skirt, slight little thing up. The front skirt, lift up. Uh, nearly 180 and then you know front kick very easy back kick no not not having it side kick 45 degrees during the side skirt is not really actually gonna do much and the legs could bend 90 degrees so wasn't really having too much movement though and uh the the legs the sorry the feet down here uh it's very movable actually and this the piece the piece of armor right here is actually movable and you know nothing really too much special and oh by the way that is something that uh, i need to comment uh so this time the delta gonna do have a small inner frame designed for the mobile suit so it's actually pretty impressive for xg product though uh you can see some details in the uh inner frame as well and i really like that they give us uh, a little more details but um you know that much detail not gonna really help because at the end of the day we still have to do the power swapping transformation I honestly think it's a kind of annoying but you know it's fine with it now let's talk about the back wings the back wings now uh, is a ball joint and connected uh, you can move back 
and you can move up and down and it actually is separate piece so uh, so you know the top part here I think you can slightly move it no, no? okay yep uh, so the down here the wings down here is actually slightly movable uh, but the top though uh, it doesn't move so now time to look at some accessories so we got the shield here is a pretty long shield though so you know you can attach it to the side of the arms there's a connector there's a connector piece gray piece here you can just simply pluck it on and it will stay there forever and for the mobile suit we have a lot of hand options uh, we have four hand options uh, we got two open hands a, a hand that's for the holding the beam saber and a hand that's for holding the gun and we got a beam rifle here it's a pretty long size though uh, you're gonna use it uh, at the later transformation as well and then we also have the beam saber effect part which I haven't cut out the beam sabers were stored uh, at the side of the shield at the side of the shield this piece here uh, let me just point it out to you because it's very hard to see when everything is you know reflecting uh, is this is uh, about here let me try to rip it off there you go a beam saber. So now I rip off all the parts from the mobile suit. Now look at the poor Delta. I only have uh, like a body and the head left, but that's not the point. So the part you need to rip off is the following: the the gun, the shield, the feet without the connector. As you can see, I rip. I, I didn't rip off the connector. Uh, the backpack. Oops. Uh, the side skirts and the side skirt joints. Uh, we have a new front skirt. Some feet parts. Uh, the two wings new shoulders and new arms and then of course the centerpiece of the whole transformation and as you can see now after i put it on on a turntable it looks pretty good though because you know it's very gold it looks like i'm rich but i'm broken <laughs> but anyway that's another point so now i'm going to start showing you the transformation process so now i'm going to show you the process so first you need to take the back waist and then you need to plug it in on the back of the plane of course uh, just give me a second yep back of the plane like this facing it together like this and then you need to take the backpack take the backpack and then put it in here so you should have a so you should have an idea like this uh, the back the back waist and the backpack is on right now and then what we need to do is we need to take the hands and then we we'll rip the shoulders off like this you know, it's very easy to remove the shoulder because the shoulder is not actually that tight. Remember, I need to move up the connector as well. Remember, you need to move up the arms connector as well. And now, you, what you need to do, you just, you just flip up the connector and then you, you, and then you pluck against the joint that's been given at the under the plane. And now you should have a mold like this. Then we we'll need to take our new uh, shoulder and then we need to snap it on at the side here at the side there's a can there's a little join here as you can see a little join here I, uh, let me just point it at you uh, a little join here as well and then now you all you have to do is just plug into the shoulders and then the next step is you flip it to the at the bottom of the plane now we got a new waist part here all you have to do is just facing the facing the parts and then you just snap it on like this and you should and you should have a model that currently look like this the next step is you need to rip off both of the legs and then rip out the connector with the feet as well but now what you need to do is you need to rip off to the, the front of the oh wait sorry not the front of the feet uh, where is it you need to rip off the front of the feet and then you need to flip up the armor like this then we have a new piece here you have to join it like this and then now all you have to do is just snap it back on one of the legs And now you should get something like this. And then now what we have to do is just doing that turnaround thing like this. Very simple, right? So now you should have a leg like this. Then what you need to do is you need to pick up the pick up the plane and now facing and then now there's a joint here at the side here, which you can see it right now here, the side. And then you can now plug it in like this. And do the same as the other legs. So now, after you've done both legs, it should look like this. And now, what we have to do, we just pluck it, pluck the side skirt back on again, like this. And then next, what we have to do, we just 
there's a side, there's a connector piece at the side here. What we have to do is just we are plugging in back the wings, and it should look like this. All right, the last step, we need to flip the gun's uh, handle, and then what we have to do is just plug it back on the bottom of the mobile suit. Just give me a second. Now you flip it, you turn it around. What you have to do, you're facing the connectors, and then now you're plugging, and then now you're plugging the shield. So the last two steps was the guns and the shield. You're facing the you plug it into each connector, and now you should have something look like this. Remember, you need to spread out the wings as well, otherwise it won't look like a wave rider mode. And basically, this is how the whole transformation goes. And what we left is a very poor delicate with the body. We left uh, the side skirt connectors, the side skirt connectors like this, and then we left a feet and the shoulders. That's it, and that's basically the whole transformation. It left out a lot of parts as well. The wave wider is gone while leaving the main body at nowhere. All right, so now this is the end of the review. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like down on the my videos and subscribe to my channel for more Gampa reviews. And you know, honestly, I need to say that this mobile suit looks very cool, the electro plated. But now it's gonna be a hard time for me to transform it back and then wipe out the fingerprints. <laughs> but, anyways, I'll see you guys in another video and goodbye.